Dalton's law of partial pressure. Firstly, let me teach you the concept of gas pressure. Consider gas enclosed in this container. We know that gas molecules constantly collide with the walls of the container. During collision, the molecules exert force on the walls of the container. Or we say gas pressure is equal to force per unit area. Therefore, we say that gas pressure means the particles constantly exert force on a unit area of the container. Let me repeat it. The particles constantly exert force on a unit area of the container. Hence, note it down this basic concept. Now, what is Delton's law of partial pressure? Well, consider this container. It contains a mixture of non-reacting gases like hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Remember that I use the word non-reacting gases. It means that hydrogen gas and oxygen gas do not react with each other. Now this container experiences two types of pressure. I mean the molecules of hydrogen gas exert pressure on the walls of the container. Secondly, the molecules of oxygen gas also exert pressure on the wall of the container. Now let me ask you. What is the total pressure on the wall of the container? The answer is simple. The total pressure on the walls of the container is equal to pressure of hydrogen gas plus pressure of oxygen gas. Are we right? Total pressure Pt is equal to pressure of hydrogen gas plus pressure of oxygen gas. Therefore, we define Dalton's law of partial pressure as the total pressure exerted by a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures exerted by each individual gas. For example, let hydrogen gas exert 2 atmospheric pressure and oxygen gas exert 3 atmospheric pressure. Then according to Dalton's law, the total pressure is equal to 2 plus 3 equals to 5 atmospheric pressure. Let's note down all these important points. Now I will teach you the derivation of Dalton's law of partial pressure. Consider a mixture of non-reacting gases in this container. Let this is gas number 1 and this is gas number 2. Now according to ideal gas law, total pressure of these two gases, Pt n to V is equal to number of moles of first gas plus number of moles of second gas and to RT. Let this is equation number 1. Secondly, according to ideal gas law, the pressure of first case on the wall of the container is P1 into V equals to number of moles of first case into RT. Let this is equation number 2. Similarly, we can also write the pressure of second gas on the wall of the container is P2 into V equals to number of moles of second gas into RT. Let this is equation number 3. Now listen carefully. I divide equation number 2 by equation number 1. The equation number 2 is P1V equals to N1RT upon the equation number 1 is PTV equals to N1 plus N2 N2 RT. Here, this RT and this RT cancelled out. This V and this V also cancelled out. We get P1 upon Pt is equal to N1 upon N1 plus N2. We know that mole friction X is equal to number of moles of one species upon total number of moles. Hence, this thing is the mole friction of first gas. I write P1 upon Pt is equal to X1. I shift this Pt to the right hand side. I get P1 is equal to X1 and to Pt. It means that partial pressure of first gas is equal to mole friction of first gas and to total pressure. If you want to learn more about mole friction, watch our video and its link is given in the description. Secondly, I divide equation number 3 by equation number 1. After calculation, I get P2 is equal to 
x2 and to pt it means that partial pressure of second gas is equal to mole friction of second gas and to total pressure thus this is the equation of dalton's law of partial pressure now let me teach you important numerical problems of dalton's law of partial pressure consider this numerical problem a mixture of gases contain 4 g of hydrogen gas and 32 g of oxygen gas calculate the partial pressure of each gas the given volume is 4 liter and the temperature is 25 degree centigrade firstly i write the given data the given mass of hydrogen gas is 4 g the given mass of oxygen gas is 32 g the given volume is 4 liter and the given temperature is 25 degree centigrade i convert this temperature from degree centigrade to kelvin 25 plus 273 equals to 298 kelvin here i write the value of r which is equal to 0 0.0821 atmosphere liter per mole kelvin now i calculate the number of moles of hydrogen gas which is equal to given mass the given mass is 4 gram upon molar mass which is 2 gram per mole i get 2 mole secondly i calculate the number of moles of oxygen gas which is equal to given mass and that is 32 gram upon molar mass and that is 32 gram per mole i get 1 mole hence the number of moles of hydrogen gas is 2 mole and the number of moles of oxygen gas is 1 mole now i will calculate the total pressure according to ideal gas law p total n to v is equal to number of moles of hydrogen gas plus number of moles of oxygen gas n to rt the given volume is 4 pt n to 4 equals to the number of moles of hydrogen gas is 2 plus that of oxygen gas is 1 the value of r is 0 0.0821 and 2 the given temperature is 298 kelvin after calculation i get total pressure is equal to 18.349 atmosphere now i can easily calculate the partial pressure of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas the partial pressure of hydrogen gas is equal to mole fraction of hydrogen gas and to total pressure mole fraction is number of moles of hydrogen gas which is 2 mole upon total number of moles which is 1 plus 2 and to the total pressure which is 18.349 after calculation i get 12.22 atmospheric pressure lastly partial pressure of oxygen gas is equal to mole fraction of oxygen gas and to total pressure the number of moles of oxygen gas is 1 upon total moles which is 3 moles and to total pressure which is 18.349 after calculation i get 6.11 atmospheric pressure hence the partial pressure of hydrogen gas is 12.22 atmosphere and the partial pressure of oxygen gas is 6.11 atmosphere if we add the partial pressure of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas we will get total pressure which is 18.349 atmosphere hence note it down this important numerical problem lastly let me teach you one important mcqs from competitive exam of iit equal weights of ethane and hydrogen gas are mixed in an empty container at 25 degree centigrade the friction of the total pressure exerted by hydrogen is dash well the molar mass of ethane is 30 gram per mole and the molar mass of hydrogen gas is 2 gram per mole and the question we are told to take equal weights of both the gases i take 30 gram of ethane and 30 gram of hydrogen gas now the number of moles of ethane is equal to given mass which is 30 gram upon molar mass which is 30 gram per mole i get one mole secondly 
the number of moles of hydrogen gas is equal to given mass which is 30 gram upon molar mass which is 2 gram. I get 15 mole. Now partial pressure of hydrogen gas is equal to mole fraction of hydrogen gas into total pressure. In the question, we are asked to find fraction of hydrogen gas to the total pressure. I shift total pressure. I write pH upon total pressure is equal to mole fraction. The number of moles of hydrogen gas is 15 moles upon total moles 15 plus 1. I get 15 by 16. Hence the fraction of pressure of hydrogen gas to the total pressure is 15 ratio to 16. Hence this is the correct option. Thus noted down this important numerical problem.